guys welcome to the channel i'm kwecho in today's video i'm going to talk about five things or five reasons she would say yes let's just discuss it reason number one way before then and now many women if you ask them what they look out for in a man or the criteria one of the first that you hear popping up is a man who fears god But truly, if you ask them what they mean by a man who fears God, I'm not sure they know what they really are saying, a man who fears God. But it is so true when a, man, a woman says she's looking out for a man who fears God. A man who fears God is not to mean to be terrified, to, to, to get frightened. Fear for God is not something that has to do with <clears throat> being afraid or being fearful it simply is the word reverence or respect every woman is looking for a man that she can put her finger on it that this man fears God and when we talk about fear for God it means that a man who fears God won't raise his hand on a woman a man who fears God literally will do exactly as god says have you considered someone that you have respect for whatever they say you should do or not do you realize that you are in haste to go about it for them it is because you have respect for them that's what basically it means for a man who fears god a man who fears god won't slap the wife a man who fears god won't beat the wife a man who fears God will love the partner genuinely without expectation. A man who fears God will meet the partner's needs committed without expectations. That's just what it means to fear God. If God says, love, you love. He says, don't do that. You won't do that. Because you know that there's definitely consequences to being fearful or not being fearful to god point number two respect a lot of women are looking for a man who respects first himself because they believe that when a man fear respects himself that respect automatically transcends to other people respect for yourself simply goes in this way that you know how to talk you know how to handle yourself you know how to behave amidst people even in the presence of the person that you, you claim you love how you treat the person how you go about your conduct with people do you shout is your voice low respect could also mean how you handle yourself how you relate with things around you that woman you are looking to chase is looking at you just by the things you are showing that you have respect for yourself or not i remember one woman told me that she will consider you having respect for yourself when she sees you drive the way you are insulting everybody anyhow <laughs> when she looks at you how maybe you are buying something and they are delaying you how you talk to the people <laughs> that's how she will consider a man who has respect for himself Point number three, if I tell you there are women who, are, who have money and would give you money as a man, would you believe that? But even though these women are there, they are also looking at you to not want their money. You must be self-sufficient as a man. You must be able to know that you have to provide. Usually, usually it's the little things that matter it's not in showering all those gifts and all of that when you don't really pay attention to her on these little things but if you are able to know that i don't have to spend her money or i don't have to use her money literally as some men will call some women gold diggers some women are also looking for the men who are not gold diggers they'll give you the money all right but you should have that place of responsibility and right knowing that well 
I have my own money. When we go for a date, I can provide, I can foot the bill. You must have no need of your money. Point number four. You must be presentable. Presentable simply is in a place where how you look really counts. Have you heard of this quote? You are addressed the way you dress. You must not even have anything in your mind or something wise to say. But you can dress properly in maybe some three-piece suit and everybody will see you like some bank manager or some CEO or some boss be like that. <laughs> Just because of the way you are dressed. You must, you must, even if you are poor, <laughs> once you are dressed properly, everybody considers you to be rich. You see? So, being presentable, looking neat. If you are wearing a shirt, have it pressed properly. Your smile, your teeth should be clear. <laughs> you know, and you must give smiles. Looking presentable also is how approachable you are. When, you, when people feel approachable, they're able to confide in you easily. And once that happens, you have won a soul. And that's what could be your partner. <laughs> yeah. Point number five, you must be kind. Like I said, for a lot of people, it is the little things that matter. Showing a sign of kindness speaks a lot about you. And there's that woman that you might even win let me give you a very perfect example let's say you go to the mall somewhere and you are buying something your hands are already full and there's this woman who also is maybe with children her hands are full and she's trying to work around her cuts your bid to approach even though your hands are full and say oh let me help you it's a sign of kindness and it's that, that woman who will just fall brah so, oh, just that oh alone means you are one here. Sign of kindness. Or you can pick a phone and say, hello, I'm checking up on you. How are you doing? A text, hey, how are you doing? It's been a while. I'm just trying to check up on you. Sign of kindness. We know the things to do to show kindness. And we have to do them. These are five things, five reasons she would say yes. You don't have to do extra to win her. Like I said, you don't have to give her money to win her. Just do these things. And I'm sure you have yourself a woman. Try it out. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, recommend it to someone. And let's get growing. Peace.